Welcome, welcome, welcome to the second stream of our uh, adventure through the uh, Wild West here. Continuing the journey of Arthur Morgan, of course. All right, left off uh, having taken down the legendary bear after uh, kicking off the uh, early portion of the game. So if you want to catch that stream, just go back into the uh, same playlist, you'll find this one, or you know, check out my uh, video history and you'll be able to tag along for the full adventure, but here we are at Horseshoe Overlook, just outside of Valentine. A few missions into the second chapter of the game, so let's see what we want to uh, do first here. Alright, got a couple options in camp. Got our uh, O'Driscoll buddy over here. Got our German uh, business buddy over there. And down here we got good old friend the Reverend. I'll probably save that one for a little bit later. So let's just uh, let's just do some of the immediate stuff. Talk to the goddamn O'Driscoll first. Real balance of uh, it's beauty and quiet, but it's very much a game for uh, kind of taking your own time, playing at your own pace. We're going to focus mostly on story content, but. Speak! Don't cry, boy! Speak! About your game! Here we go. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> Let's knock off one of these lights here. Whoa! Hold your horses there. There we go. Should be a little the, uh, bit better. Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, Mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing. Okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part. So how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Uh, I like that plan. Go for it. One oh. of mouths, but he tell a lie. Is that Screw it. PC, Let's or is that the game? Some fun. Geld here. Gun. Going, where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's <laughs> like technical, uh... Home. Unix Fun going on here. And most loyal of no, no, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are okay. going to talk. The only question is oh. now or I think after. we might be back up. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. I know Just watching where the stream hold here. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at six point cabin. Oh. Oh, I'll take you there. Serious. I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. The Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come okay. on. Okay. Let's, Let's uh. <laughs> <Killed> it. <laughs> Let's both hope. One second here. Let's see if we're stabilizing yet. What is going on here? Okay, for the love of God. <clears throat> okay, I think we're uh I think we're streaming again now. Sorry about that. Bit of a lapse in uh Trying to trick us, Technical you capability know. there, so hopefully we didn't lose anything. You sure as shit Just bullying the O'Driscoll kid. John, Bill, come here. How's it coming? We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind <clears throat> Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gotta pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to cold? That's what he says. Come on. 
I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But All right, off into the wilderness. Past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. This is gonna be the pace we're going. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. <laughs> Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Uh, God said that you might. Sure. I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last yeah, you big bastard. Favor, I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got <clears> my <throat> bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. Well, I think we're stable now. Yeah, Whatever well, that uh, little technical glitch at the rail. start was hey, seems to have uh, right. sorted itself out. Yeah, wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reason with the oil. Well, well, when you <clears> was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so, but I fear you don't know how to help anyone, except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. Such now negotiations. Left, uh, road will take us up and round. <laughs> We're doing this at two miles an hour, it feels like. But, you know, get all the dialogue oh, in, all the character work. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know... You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. Nope. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than no, you all know we need about to know. them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're in uh, Odell. Driscoll. 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 over there. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. <clears throat> Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you look uh... but you ain't seen. John! Shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on. Let's, uh, see if the game doesn't put these away on me. It's not that it would ever do that, but, yeah, it's been known to do that. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Can't abide, no more Driscolls. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. Uh, but if sure. we do, we move quick. And hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Quick and hard. Okay, by me. With you, Morgan. Can roll with that. All right then. Through the trees here. 
<clears throat> Bill, pick a side. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Thank you for that, uh, super subtle reminder. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Oh, it wants me to have the bow. I guess it uh, prefers we go quiet. Follow me. Oh well, All got right. the rifle. It ain't far. We might have shared a horse. Things we pop off. Friends. Remember, I'm watching you. To do on that Every horse. Moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey. There. There. You see. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yep. And Cormo Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, yeah. over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Well, come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. Sneaky, sneaky. Sure, taking his time. No hands. The old man loses it. Christ. You lost your mind. Oh. Into the camp. Look out! Oh, guess we're going loud. Wow, this is not great cover. All right, find this one then. Said stealth kill. Didn't, didn't mean it, I guess. Another one over here? I guess he's over here now. Where's he at? Yep, running right over there. First thing. Just, uh... Oh, you wanted that one, I guess. Wow, okay. I guess it's a failure if you try to, uh, loot behind you. <laughs> Alright, then. That's wonderful. <sighs> Gotta love the invisible boundaries in this game. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Well, let's just do what we did before. Mm. Morgan. Bonk. Oh, 
Get out of the way! Okay, come on. There it is. Oh, for the love of... How are they coming from behind now? Come on. Oh, boy. Give us the worst damn cover at the start of this. Guess we're just gonna loot the ones that we're approaching. Onward and forward. No, I want this one. Damn it. You got supplies, you What do you hold in Stop looting, these are mine. Time to hook. Mine, I said. You had to kind of steal the opportunity to loot in this, because uh, when the game tries to kick you uh, forward, kicks you all the way forward sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's the uh, climb over button. Yeah, well, it's about all the looting and confident it's going to let me take without trying to reset me again. Should be nice if I had my shotgun here. Or my second. Well, I guess I don't have my second pistol holder yet. Here we go, though. Wonderful. <laughs> Nice to get your moment to giggle. You all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Come on, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here. I swear. I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? Eh? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually <laughs> some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> right you are. What we got here? Didn't even look for the money on the table. We lost on dozens of dollars. A fistful, even. What else we got? All these shells. 
Food biscuits. The real reason. All this stuff is lying out and you're gonna leave it. I don't believe you for a moment. I think that elixir actually is a permanent boost. Let me uh let me see here. Jensen, give you a uh, health experience boost. So yeah, let's uh let's get lit. this up here no 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 not that one the ah, you piece of sh yeah swap it C come on boy what are we doing here am I stuck behind my gun <laughs> wow it's, maybe it just doesn't want me to go anywhere until I do this. Uh, Alright, now can I move? Now I can move. And, uh... Now I can swap this. Game is just kind of locking me into what it wanted me to do. Oh well. Uh, right, chimney. Let's get our dollar dollar bills. At least you got something Ooh. tucked away. Bet they're gonna try to take all that from me for the camp. Is there anything in this drawer? Suppose not. <clears throat> All right. I uh, think this place is decently looted. Might be missing some uh, shiny object or other, but don't got all day. See if I can loot around camp for a quick minute. Kind of gotten all the bodies, or maybe they did. There's a lot of uh, empty bodies around here. <laughs> well, how about oh, wonderful. Yep, we're leaving. That's the game's uh, soft way of telling you to get the hell moving. Maybe not so soft. Just in case. I don't think I have any witnesses, but... Oh boy. We're going this way for... Oh god! <laughs> Love it! <laughs> Can I just die? I don't, I don't want this. Dead per, se. Dead, per se. Thought that was a turn. Oh sure wasn't. <laughs> At least we uh, avoided detection from uh, the law up there. <laughs> For what it's worth. Okay. Alright. Well, not a total disaster. Just... Whole bunch of one. Can I, uh. Daddy. I don't think I get, need to get off my horse for that. Well, let's just have some biscuits for now.
<clears throat> so there's strawberries. Let's see if we can get out this uh, cliff over here without another incident. <laughs> Alright, come on. Just, just get on the rock. <sighs> Game's so picky. Come on, just yeah. go! <laughs> you stupid fucking horse! <laughs> oh, you're so dumb! <laughs> can I, can I even... Wow, I can only kill it? I'm going back. This is... Lack of a better term, horse shit. <laughs> God, I played this game hundreds of hours and I've never had that much just... Bullshit on a horse. Bullshit on a horse. Ugh, fuck's sake. Okay. Where's that put us? Where's that put us? Where are we at? Do I have a horse? Do I have a horse? I think I have a horse. But I don't have as much health. But, hey, I will take this. Little better. Did not want to kill my horse for that bullshit reason. <laughs> First part was my fault, I'll claim that. The second part, nah. Let's go get us a deer to bring back to camp. There's got to be something around here. Yeah. Hmm. It's a dead deer. Not quite what I'm looking for. Dead horse. Hey, you there. Think you could help a lady out? Nah. What are you? I ain't for hire, lady. Find someone else. No. Oh. Well, right on then. Yep, plan to. Don't scare. Uh, I think I had a deer over here too. I don't got time for you, woman. I don't got time for you, woman. Maybe go off somewhere else, huh? I don't trust you. Can't be this many women on the side of the road needing help because their horse died. Getting pretty sus. Those just wild horses? Looks like. Try to study it real quick. What it's worth. White one's pretty neat. But not why I'm here. Alright, see if we can find uh yep. Now that some of those distractions are out of the way, 
It's getting pretty dark though. Ooh, having an actual hard time seeing now. How many deer over here? Just spot one. People. Oh, I guess we're getting close to town. All right. Well, there's Valentine. There's some coyotes. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I know there's usually a lot more uh, deer a little bit closer to camp, so. further north than I thought we did. Well, let's just make our way back to camp real quick. And I'm sure I'll spot something on the way. Studying some pigs here. Hmm, there's a bounty up. Maybe I should go do that real quick. Let's go do that. Hunter, mister? Sure. Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Not delinquents and reprobates. Uh, it was judgment. such a nice neighborhood I've before. Been long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well. <clears throat> you won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than land and rickets without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Filler over yeah. at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. Hmm. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Where's he at? Hmm. It's 
not too far, but kind of want to go get some other outfits set up back at camp. Because uh, if I remember right, last stream I had set some up and uh, Hard. I think it just took him uh, took him out for some reason. Yeah, it just kind of left me with the okay, boy. the light Let's one, go. which for going north at all, not the ideal outfit to be wearing. Hmm. You know what? Nah, we'll be alright for a bit. Let's go. Hello there. Okay. It's still dark. But we going. Alright. Go catch us. Snake oil salesman. Works for Pfizer. Wait, what? People turning up with myocarditis around these parts. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> At least that ready, but I think we're gonna need to deal with this one. Oops, using there it is, the lasso. Don't scare him off in the dark, anyway. Like it'll be a bit of a pain trying to chase him uh, in this lighting. Although he looks pretty well cornered up there. Alright, let's see if I can get the jump on him. Sure looks like him. It's gonna cut scene on me. It's gonna cut scene on me. Oops. Come on, just do that. It's it's just not gonna let me. Whatever. You Benedict Albright. Oh, sir. Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine, and I heard uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if, if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh. <laughs> Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know? Mm -hmm. A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. You can let him slip past. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently, that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm mm -hmm. a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Uh, this is the one that Don't jumps in the damn river, isn't it? Uh. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Maybe not. Hope not. 
Because I'd really rather not be chasing him in the river in this light. Good. Oh, you saved me! Yeah, catch him. Come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for questioning. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off. <laughs> they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. Don't jump! Or, or what? You can't shoot me! No. That's the win. I'll take my chance. Come here! I'll buy for you! Uh, <sighs> really do not. <sighs> yeah, me neither. At least you have the courtesy of getting on the horse for me. God, I can't see here. God damn it! Okay. Well, we're gonna do that again. Fucking... I should have waited until it was day. This is my mistake. Because I'm not... gonna be able to catch him like this. Seriously, Horace, you're just gonna run into every damn thing in this run around? Oh god, we're back here. Oh. Well. That's annoying. Oh, I gotta go pick up the. Okay, we're gonna go do that in the daytime, cause, uh. Yeah, no. Go set up the outfit stuff like I was originally going to first. Then looking back to him, dumb bastard. Couldn't have just let me lasso him before the conversation. No, had to go through the bullshit. Jeez. Okay. If I go back to camp. It's probably gonna try to suck me into another side quest though just one of those uh, kind of games let's set this up because there's too many damn roads over here I'm going the right way so far first real quick though. That's kinda how I play this game, just uh get one objective in mind and I do about three more before I get to it. Now to camp. Yeah, okay, boy. Probably mess with the brightness settings and see easier at night, but kind of like the uh, settings where they're at, just a touch more realism and a little more challenge when it is dark. Thought you were the horse 
It's gonna interrupt me. Whatever's going on over here. Just let me get rid of this thing and I'll be uh We could really use some more meat, oh, yeah. Mr. Morgan. Oh, Is that still not enough? Jeez. Hungry bastards. I know supplies are low. Thank you, Arthur. I did say. Hey, you won't let me ride your ring dang do? Um, get some stew here. Spot for cooking over here anywhere? No. It's around here somewhere. A little bit of side campfire where you can cook some meat. Because I don't think you can do it at the main fire over there. Oh, no, there's a little cooking thing on here. Maybe I can. There we go. All right. Let's fry up some of this here delicious. Uh, I think this is from the bear, maybe. Big gamey. Here, snake oil. Should probably get some stuff for horse, horse care so I don't go down in one uh, mistake like before, but I grabbed a whole bunch of this, so we'll do this one first. Have some snake oil. I think that'll help us with our dead eye. Tent, get my outfits reallocated on the horse and uh, wait till morning. Let me go do that bounty hunt. If I can maneuver through camp in such a way that I don't get dragged into another quest. Not that this game would ever do that. From is mine. Is it that one? 
Yeah. I saved my custom outfits. I may have just forgotten to store them on the horse before. I think it'll let me s save this. Wait, this one's only suitable for hot temps. I'm going to need to adjust it then so that. Suitable for medium. Well, mm, yeah, let's adjust it. I think if I just throw on some chaps here, that might be enough. Oops. Didn't want to go uh, all the way out just yet. So it just says hot. Maybe if I put some gloves on it. Oh, come on. The interface in this game is, uh, something. Average. Yep, that's what I was going for. So we're going to delete that one, and save that one. Yep, average, hot, cold. Let's stick to average for now, because uh, I don't think we've got too many extremes to worry about for a while. Uh, and sleep, so it's not so damn dark out. Three hours. You guys sleep as much as I do. Just kidding. <clears throat> Pretty night nice sky. All right, let's go get that bastard. I guess. Going not good. <laughs> Is that it? Any more? Alright. A little close, but we got through it. these little fun uh, road ambushes. At least when they turn out alright. 
Yeah, cheeky O'Driscoll bastards. Where'd you bring me? Don't worry about it, bud. At least it's not talking about a crime yet. It's in the box. Ooh, horse survivor. That's timely. Could always uh, use some of that. Ooh, what do we got? Revolver, gun oil. Yeah, that'll work. All right, boy. Yep. All right, back to what we were doing. Catch this guy, uh, hopefully without bulldozing over a boulder this time, because, uh, yeah, horses aren't necessarily made for that, turns out. Who? What? Bill? Oh. He'll be alright. Bill's tough. I thought you had it covered. Morning. Let's brush off our horse here too. He's looking a little uh a little muddy. Okay, well, this dialogue again, because it's important uh, that we hear it. Can we just get past uh, it? Look. Here. Here we go. Maybe this is on me. Listen to you Maybe earlier. Him alive. That's an important point. Yeah, alive. yeah. I got it. Let's go, boy. Say my horse is still dirty, because. Just brushed the bastard a few times. Alright. Off to find our snake salesman. Part D. This time with light. So far, be kind of cool if I could just last for him before interrogating him so he doesn't, you know the same bullshit, but nah. They want yeah. it to go a certain way, it's gonna go a certain way. Oh, 
Yeah, I could just shoot him, but I feel like that would uh, defeat the spirit of the quest. All right, buddy. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir. We're not gonna uh, huh. listen to Kinda more of this than like we have to. Second time. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because. More than a little tempted to just let him drop. <laughs> oh, 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 you saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. Yeah, you already know how that plays out. All right, not into the boulder this time. Damn, he's all the way up there already. I think he just teleported. Wonderful. Swim to the end. Uh, grab on to something. All right, try. Look out, rapids. Hold your breath. Uh, I think this is just a chase thing. I don't think there's anything I can do about him. Now I can. Help! Help! We got here. Have you got a lasso? Let's get him out of the water so he doesn't accidentally drown. Sure am. I'm sure it does seem that way. I'm on his horse. Alright. Take you in. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. I gotta go back for my horse real quick. I'm not gonna drown him if I cross. Come on! <laughs> Why are we doing this? Okay, well. Let's just see. Okay, good. He didn't drown. Taking your time there. All right, taking him in. Uh, 
Well, it's not letting me hit him anymore. That's fun. Oh, it's not too far. Bounty. Go on and move. Back in town. Hey, don't you drag me into this. Here we go. This here ain't none of my concern. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. All righty then. Just, uh, right here, I suppose. Oh, oh there's been some terrible mistake. I mm -hmm. never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Rolling in the big bucks. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Silver. I wonder what gold would have entailed. Within a minute and a half. A minute. Like hell. Like hell. <clears throat> How about that? <clears throat> I suppose I wasn't waiting for you. Waiting for you. Oh, that's right. We got this other horse here. Let's go see if I can get a few bucks for him. Hey! <laughs> I wouldn't stand there, buddy. Well, not doing me any good just sitting in here. I can't give the full prize if you've lost the papers. See you later. Bad old Your marshal will be here. Poor Tommy is in quite a bad way. What? I hope you're not here to cause more <coughs> trouble. Who are you talking to? Tommy. Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Uh huh. Oh, it's you. Good morning, sir. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Moving on. Please be generous. Be generous. Help people. Try to do what you can. Howdy. Uh. Yeah. What? Do you want something from me? Is there anything at the gun shop for me? There ought to be. Morning. Greetings. What can I do for you? What you got? Let me just look in here. Yep. Can't really buy much of the catalog just yet. 
nothing that I don't already get. <clears throat> so let's just, uh, I guess, upgrade what we already do. I let Sheriff Malloy and his boys know about my best deals, as you can imagine. Upgraded holster wouldn't hurt. Upgraded gun belt, sure. Should be good. All right. Uh, doo -doo. Okay, so I can equip all my stuff from here too. It's good to know. Nope. I use the carbine repeater pretty much all the time. So why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. Let us do that. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. superfluous so we'll come back and do those upgrades later which the pump action shotgun is going to be useful for good ain't no trace of rust on that as far as i can most see most the game i got some nice carved stocks here i think you should take one you'll be very pleased with this Stylize that stuff later. Don't know how long it's going to take me to get the skill child, field, right? so let's. Uh, Good on you. How about you get some new sites for this, huh? At least upgrade what we got here. Won't take too long to get the remaining funds to do the rest anyway. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. That'll be good for now. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about it. Thank you. Come on, folks. Okay, boy. Today. Let me get through. Oop. Not the menu I was trying to get into. There we are. Back to camp, and the next mission. Uh, let's go talk to our German buddy first, because I think the Dutch one's a little more intrusive. If I can spot another deer on the way back. Aha. There we go. Mean shot. Make sure everybody's uh, getting decently fed. Pretty good hunter, boy. I think you can take these ones pretty cleanly from the head. There we go. If 
food for days. I've been bringing you meat for days. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you some. You bring me the right materials. My order. Play greedy with those upgrades. A German uh, friend, I suppose. Oh. Oh, anyway, uh, back in just a moment. Alright, back in Adam. What we got next? Eh, Strauss. <clears throat> Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me. But more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder just at a hand? the sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Aye. Right. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. So he says. So much. Of course you do. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. 
Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. But there's anything I'm supposed to be dropping off here. <clears throat> what we got? Uh, well, we're not giving away the gold bar because mine. However, sell some of these uh, other items that I got some duplicates of. That'll work. And we don't get the boat because we're not upgrading the camp just yet, I guess. Oop. Keep hitting the change POV instead of the map. Alright. Start with the close one, I guess. <clears throat> Just take a moment to pet the uh, horse off a bit. Not animals. debts. Uh, sure, let's go see what he's doing. Oh, yeah, that'll keep me going all right. Hey there, mister. Well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Sure, bud. All right, uh, moving on. That's a path. Easy. Just in case. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. Can you, 
kim jesteś? I'm here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Uh, Where's my uh, money, Brian? Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh, I nie mam pieniędzy. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the Let's learn English quick. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Już nie mam siły. Hey, yes. learn. He did learn English pretty quick. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Don't even speak English. Oh. Very valuable, good. Not good yet. Better be something somewhere. Pin not worth anything. Longer I look, the madder I get. Fair. Jeez. <laughs> Guys, uh, not got much, does he? No, can't search there. Okay, next. Uh, is there any other rooms? I got room for that. Boy. Next one. Dead one. Collected. Chick Matthews. All right, you idiot.
Is that a bobcat I'm hearing? Cause, uh, I don't think I've ever seen him in this area before. I'd really rather not run into one. <laughs> This guy wants to have a shoot off. You there. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, win. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Easy, man. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Thought you ever done before. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Shoot, huh? Ah, <sighs> uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Gracias, amigo. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Mm hmm. Let's see if it'll be much trouble trying to collect some of those feathers. Shaped ground. My favorite in this game. That was too bad. Steep, actually. Let's try this way again. There we are. Come in handy, I think, for uh, making feathers if I need uh, arrows if I need to. Jeez.
kill only for food. Use all part of animal, like the buffalo. Let's go. Yep. Got some deaths at night. At night. Um. First one to drop him gets the gold. Take him for everything he got. There we go. Okay. Ratha, huh? Is there another one? No, you're not sticking around. That's for damn sure. That last one. Yep. Slow it up. What's that? Idiot. Well. Wild sounding animals out here. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Uh, I think that's Go. some rubber band and bullshit right there. The more I chase, the more you owe. <laughs> You're too slow, old man. I think it ran over something. God, horse move. You make me go much further. I'll get more than a dead off you. Jeremy shouldn't have lent me there. Yeah. You don't want to get me angry, boy. There we go. Come on. 
That was magic. Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Uh, you don't mind, do you? Blow me down. Well, aren't you gonna untie me? Hmm. We're going for a walk. You got the map. Do the decent thing. <laughs> Have fun, bud. Where's our treasure? Oh boy. Uh, well, very dark, but I see little markers that a hut on one side and a tree on the other. The tree's got a hole in it. Let's see if I can't find that bend in the road. Destination. So I guess it wants me to search over here. Well, I think I can just cut across here. Hopefully. It's a bit dark though. There's a so tree here. It's usually not so uh, straightforward. Guess it's just a tutorial map. All right. One more. All right. Freaky sound and possum. <clears throat> Final dead. Let's go get it. And a skunk. Nice. Okay. Didn't get to study you. Come back. There we go. You have any idea of the hole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? That's convenient. Look, it's payday. Stroll right in, and there I'm she sorry. is. Sorry, I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening. Damn mice! Okay. <laughs> Cheap shot.
alone, won't you? Hey, you know what I You've got the debt. Law here about this. What do you want? I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Uh, of course. Okay, boy. Well, let's just get out of here. Nope, got the dead, and uh, <clears throat> I don't think there's a bounty. Doubt the guy got that good a description on me. Ah, oh, fuck, there's a bounty. Nope, coming with me for dinner. I could have just caught the dude and uh, convinced him to stop, but yeah, it's just five dollars, so whatever. Just starting to brighten it up. Just in time for morning stew, hopefully. some stew. Right? Uh, is it not letting me because I 
had some earlier. That was like an entire day ago. Whatever. <clears throat> Just go cook up a, one of these uh, birds and eat that, I guess. Good morning, Arthur. So, we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Cone. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Well, that was a conversation, I guess. It's a campfire. Ah, oh, there it is. Get cooking. It's probably some of that crow, or I guess rather the prairie chicken that I uh, shot earlier. Strato. Don't know when that was sent, so I apologize if that's a little late. Alright. See if I got anything to up my uh, dead eye a bit again. There's some other types of consumables that'll do it, or is it just, I think these are just the cores. Well, ah, here we go. <clears throat> Messed with the core a bit, but those are easy enough to recover. Let's get a little bit of chewing tobacco in. Money off. Got our collections done. Morning, Arthur. Mm-hmm. Hello. All right. That's a bed. Now we got the ledger, so we can upgrade the camp a little bit. That's provision, lodging, and ammunitions. Hmm. Well, it doesn't hurt to be able to restock ammo here. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. <clears throat> All right, then. Let's get back to that ledger that was so rudely interrupted from. 
out of here. Yeah, we can upgrade the uh, medicine supplies. Provisions too, why not? It's coming from the camp funds, not mine, I hope. That'll do for now. Come back with more later. Hmm. What have we got going here? I still got the damn bounty to pay off. Um. Well, now I can go do that over at the farm if it'll let me. Or the ranch over here, and uh, gotta go see Hosea over there anyway. So let's go do that. Back to the horse. Let's see if we can trim down our beard a bit first. And here we go. No shortage of options for uh, quest NPCs at the moment. It'll narrow as we start doing them, of course. The Emerald Ranch is a pretty good spot for dropping off uh, carriages and making a bit of side money, so it doesn't hurt to get that unlocked. Yeah, that's it, boy. The game insists on just unequipping your guns. Don't know why. That's kind of fun every now and again to be caught up uh, unawares and Lying on your uh, trusty old revolvers. Sometimes it sucks though. Sometimes it just really sucks. <clears throat> that entire countryside in though. That damn five dollar bounty paid off real quick because story in the game loves to just throw bounties at you. Yeah. We'll hit you with them, but then like if you look at how much it actually costs to shoot up a town, it uh <laughs> not all that bad for the story missions. Awfully forgiving for the frontier. Oh, hush. You got energy. Welcome. How do you do? Nothing like a fresh start. Alright, cleared that up. 
Thanks, partner. And a Hosea. Yeah. Saw the gold bar to the guy over here in a bit. It's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. But not... Idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. Carmody it's just Dale. up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. <clears throat> There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> yeah, it don't count if it's by marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Ha! Uh, I think I'm the one that had to recover from that. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Got roughed up pretty good by that bear. To show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Easy! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on.
<clears throat> There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. What do we got here? Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Let's go see what we got here. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Sure. Wouldn't want to kill this cousin by marriage. Not unnecessarily, anyhow. area looks clear enough. Pretty much the same view here. That's where it's sleeping. I'm not done yet. There's got to be some good stuff up here if that's what was down there. Uh, come on. 
enough haul I think get on dear boy smooth I think the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. It certainly went smoother than hunting the grizzly. Wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Please. Yeah. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It's mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah, why not? Sure. back and sell the uh, goodies later. here <clears throat> loot everything what I miss guess I didn't go fast enough back to the ranch oh well can't have missed too much 
Unless I needed to rob him directly or something. Anyway, what we got? We got Dutch here. Swans in there. And another debt out there. <clears throat> well, on account of being the closest, let's go talk to Dutch. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! Uh, what's going happen. on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. <laughs> what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. And we gotta... <clears throat> Well, at least we get to go get drunk first. Yep. Yeah. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off of What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now... I mean, it's just Mike, after all. Me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Here we are. Now, off to their saloon. Bit of horse maintenance real quick. And we're going in.
Busy night. Just one or two. Right, Alpha? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. Oh, there, Dullert! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten nights. Buddy, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here! Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. Active. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Well. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Where's my boy Lenny? First person.
Oh. <laughs> well. Where'd my hat go? I did. All right. Successful night. Ah, I see. Get that stamina back and a little bit of uh, energy left there. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. around here oh well came pretty far south didn't I and my horse is all the way up in Valentine wonderful at least I'm near Swanson and something going on out over uh, there let's go see what's going on over there first some time. Go 
good with the cooking. Just over there. I think I actually see him over there. Ah, uh, all my guns. <laughs> They're on the horse. Oh, I got the volcanic. Okay. Keep on with that for a bit. a problem for me but not for you all right i ain't got time for no this. well no wait give me a minute of your life i might just change it forever oh, no. i'm sure you will have heard of me maximo cristobal valdespino the oh, renowned course. explorer can't say i have there has been much written about me i once had high tea with the viceroy of india nice. i helped liberate south america i've climbed mountains and <clears> swum <throat> across seas I have had many women. Mm -hmm. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They rob banks all the way from here to California. Robberies yeah, in California? The Jack gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Right here. Me? Yes. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Mildly familiar. All right. Uh, yep. Off to Reverend Swanson, who is right over here. Cardio day. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot to get those increases, though. Hello, boy. Just 
Just good life advice. Take the time to pet the doggos. Sloss, you in here? Morning, partner. What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Play it. Right. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't <laughs> seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Might as well. Well, sit yourself down then. <laughs> crawls out the back. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Mm -hmm. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Good. Huh. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. Two pairs. It is a game, after all, mister. Look at his face. He's bluffing. Have a look at these. Hardly a big finale for me. Don't laugh. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Damn it. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Pretty strong start. <clears throat> Not the quickest way to make money. But hey, a few rounds isn't too bad. What we got here? Yeah, okay. Let's see, what we, huh. let's see what we're playing with. Good. I'll check. Hmm. Got a pair at least. Here. Just a little. Damn it. No. Well, that's as it should be. Come here. <clears throat> now, this is supposed to be amusement. These tens, though. Fold. Check.
Uh, not much playing right now, but let's see if I can't scare him a bit. I just a little wager. Jesus, you play like my grandmother. Not looking great. Hmm. Let's see if I can scare him. There we go. You're bluffing. Calling me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm screwed here. There. Live in fear. Okay. Damn it, I'm losing all that. <laughs> here you go. Sorry to do this, fellas. Yeah, that was that was not gonna happen. I'll take it. Oh, there goes all my winnings, I think. Let's see if I can't get that back real quick. What am I gonna get a good look in here? You want an unlucky bastard, eh? Wish I'd got your friend to bless my hand before he passed out. So we got another ten. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's a nine. I thought it was a three or something. Uh, yeah, let's see what we're doing here. Pretty pathetic. Call. Okay, that's a pair anyway. I know. I ain't too excited. Wait, is it? Oh, maybe not. Ah, damn. Oh, come on. This ain't kid poker. See ya. Let's see what the next cards are. Mm. <laughs> no. This isn't gonna be, uh, this isn't gonna be it. Sure. Nah. Oh, jeez. Whatever. Okay, then. Hmm, I got nothing here. Uh, okay. Better than nothing. Couple dead rounds. Let's see if I can't get some actual cards to play with here. Back in it. You, you're lucky. Taken off, and I had the two. Ah, balls. Okay. Yup. Check. Damn. I check. Let's start this low for now. At least make it interesting. Not for me. Here. Well, look at you. Here we go. Let's just get the next turn. For Christ's sake. Hmm. It all counts. Huh? Try this again here. This is the opposite of amusing. Not your day, is it? Oh, okay. I think I can uh, do a little something with this. I'm a play slow. Is that it? What we got here, though? Nothing. Ball sacks. Whatever. Give me. Let's see what the next couple of cards bring. Oh, come on. This ain't kid poker. Hmm. Hmm. 
just garbage hands. Check. Have a look. Read them and weep. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's awful. I'll take it. All right, three shit hands in a row, game. Let's go. Let's let's come on. Come on. Come on. Let's move this forward. <clears throat> Give me a real hand. No. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, I know. Really pathetic. Here, just a little. I'll call. Anything? Anything? Holy hell. Nah. Nope, nothing. Two pairs on the table and just nothing to match them with. Come on. Not for me. There. Pile of crap. All right. Oh, All I actually right. got <laughs> Not much I can do something of that. an advantage out of that yeah. somehow. There we go. All right. A little something back. Okay, my luck is officially just turned. You lucky son of a bitch. Okay, jacket seven, not too bad. I know, it ain't too exciting. Can't feed okay. the pot a bit. Gonna start small here. I'm a play slow. Is that it? Okay, then. Here. We're going big, boys. Yeah. Here. I'll call. All or nothing. Let's see what these cards do for us. Okay. All in. Here we Might as well. All right. What do we got? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <Mission training. laughs> Shit. Huh. All right then. Uh. uh yeah. Yep. Oh, all right. Oh, we split. Okay. I'll take it. Damn. Oh well. Not out of it. That's more like it. Are you? For a king. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. Did he folded? Damn. Play the game. Get the whole pot. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. I'll call. Mm hmm. Here. Just a little. Oh, come no, on. Not this for me, ain't kid poker. Looking good. These tiny incremental little wins. I'm trying to do this all night. Come on. Oh. I got the uh Damn it, I can't get a look at gambler pot. It's alright to give up, friend. Game. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go. That's all I got. Fine. Let's go. Uh, how about that? Okay. Mm. That's what I got. Fine. Let's just see what happens. There. Okay. So here. Sorry to do this, fellas. I split. Now Come you're on. talking. 
Yep. Yep, that was a bit of a bust. I hate splitting the pot. There we go, finally. Good for you, I guess. That's all I got. Hmm. I want to bet against this guy. He's broke. Okay, bet. Um. I just a little wager. What do you got? I got, <laughs> I got nothing. Let's see what you got. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I'm going all in. Sure. I say bluff. You're bluffing. Let's see then. I ain't got it. There we go. <laughs> oh fuck! I lost Ooh, it all. <laughs> ah, nice. Whatever. I got like nothing left here. Damn. Well, had to end sometime, I guess. That's the way it goes. Who is both a favor? Shut up. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm betting with the Reverend's money at least. Oh my god, again. <sighs> Hell. Again? Check for me. Damn. I'll check. No. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll uh, check. Nope. How about that? Okay. No. Okay. Look. Oh. Things beginning to look up. Figure with his uh, mm -hmm. pair of threes, he'd have had that. I don't see how that's a split. Yes. Better than nothing. I guess because the pair was low. Oh well. Let's see what happens here. Good. <laughs> I'm calling bullshit. Nah. Here. Let's just end this. Next one better be a nine or something, cause, damn. I don't think. How about that? Uh. Let's do this again, eh? How do you like this? <laughs> you must be joking. Good luck with those cards. Ah, crap. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> hey! Hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Swanson, where'd you go? Hey, get your hands. 
hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Let's go. Get back! Oh my god, kill him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Hey you! Get back here! Get him! <laughs> get up! Get him! you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. Well, oh, better safe than sorry. Really? Not taking Get any off chances. the damn tracks! Ah, oh, boy. I hope this is the right way. Hey, my horse is kind of bad. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. I want to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. I got my horse back. All in all, thank you, sir. We're good. Oh no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Not sure how my uh, horse magically got here from Valentine, but it saves me a little bit of time. Yep. A flush of diamonds. You shut up. Cowboy in all over the damn place. Oh, we're already here?
when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Could have just tossed him up the side of the bridge, just saying. I got him back pretty damn fast. Hi there, Arthur. Expecting some sort of uh, speed race. Oh, there's him, him, and last of all, him. Let's go get that dead. Stage company lockbox. We don't Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. Deal. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Need a lockbreaker. I just that works. Hmm, pretty nice stagecoach actually. I'm gonna go take it back to the uh, ranch. For that. Easy now. Yep. Cooperative bunch of horses.
Oh, jeez. Make me go a long way around. Oh. See if I can do this without being interrupted by Lenny over there. to get ambushed. Be all right. Okay, I've uh, slain a bunny under tire. Does happen. <clears throat> Go 
good old evening for a uh, stagecoach sale, if I do say so myself. Took a little while to get here, huh? Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Just enough clearance, I suppose. Seems better be worth something. Oh, you might be interested in this. Looks fine. Oh, I'm come lying. on. Spend it wisely. How much? Still on. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth it. Is your shop even open? Doesn't look like it. Great. I was kind of hoping to be able to do that while I was here. Whatever. Let's go find Lenny. Wait, no, that's not Lenny, that's, uh, Strauss. One of his debts. Completely forgot what I was doing over there. Yeah, well. Coyotes. Horse riding by moonlight. There we go. Good boy. Yes, yeah, boy.
here. That's it, boy. Alright, boy. Yeah. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> we ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... <gasps> really? Threaten me, would you? <laughs> please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. <clears throat> If you want your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. A Come little on. patience is all I require. <laughs> Pay the money. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my Bust open this piggy bank. Oh him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> yep. Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Well, I'm sure that'll have no ramifications. I guess we're going back to camp now. Games is our idea, comrade. did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Flint, okay. <clears throat> These arbitrary ass objectives. What's next? Javier. Back in just a moment.
right. Let's keep the train a rolling. <clears throat> Might as well wait until it's light out again. One night when I was frisky, uh, it's gonna make me something. Like waves on the bay of Bisky. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. background music the romantic letter. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them. They prefer horror They're Americans. You and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. I like that the background music ended right as the letter did. Um. All right. I suppose that's his mother. And I suppose this is the lady friend. I guess it's already morning. Oh, no reason for sleep then. Damn, that was a long letter. Took that long. Eh, we got a new objective in Valentine. Let's go do deal with that one first. Then we'll go see Javier. Should have no time for both tonight. Yeah. Micah might have to kick off the next stream, but let's see how quick we can get this all done. Friends there. there boy. Good boy. Out of the way. Oh, that's a wonderful place to park a train. the tail end of it just blocks this off entirely.
Well, let's see if I can get up and around it before it starts moving again. Good. to yourself. You're next, okay? Don't fellas like you ever get bored of pushing folk around? Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. Leave me alone. Back off. Come on. Being a very antagonistic Arthur this playthrough. It's much more chill than my first one. What's wrong with you, huh? What's wrong with you? We got another bounty in here. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Oh, well, looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Pound him to hell! All right, boy. I suppose that'd be her over there. It's a good deal with her, uh... Local lady first. Stay there, boy. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Lemon, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. Mm. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. Might have washed your face. We need your help real bad. 
Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. Not the that Chelonians. That strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Might as well. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <clears throat> well, it's a bit interesting that uh, there's an option to just not help. I guess that just cuts off this entire line of... Uh, Intrigue, or what have you. Not that it really amounts to much. Still, neat bit of character and background for Arthur. <clears throat> Even if she's just kind of awkward and there. I spent a lot of time in this game just kind of riding around and just looking at the scenery. Yeah, that's it, boy. It's a whole lot of it. Ah! Whoa. What was that? A snake? Sure is. Ooh, rattlesnake. Three star. There we go. Easy. Wonder if that stayed intact. Nah, son of a bitch. Skin it. Need to get the legendary, uh, legendary buck totem or whatever. Makes it a lot easier to maintain the integrity of uh, 
hunting drops and carcasses. Though I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of excess hunting in this playthrough. I usually do that sort of thing in my uh, downtime. I would turn this series into uh, probably three times longer the streams of uh, what I'm already planning for it. So we're just going to stick to story for this go around. Might still hunt the legendaries though. Some interesting ones. Go say hi to the screwballs. <laughs> you can tell the safety. I just want to take your vegetables here. Yeah, he won't let me. <clears throat> shell of safety. Shell of safety. Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? This time around. This time around. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. About to get thunderstorm. Goddamn lunatic. I'm not getting through to you now. Get off of him! It's kind of not letting me. Oh, you gotta hold it. <laughs> I thought it was a tap. <laughs> That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. Not a chance. Leave me alone, Arthur. Damn it. I didn't ask for your help. Yep. Yeah, okay, boy. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. You pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, okay, boy. Sorry. Just stop. Just it's just not gonna let me stop him. Telling you what you wanna hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? I don't have to answer to you. Oh boy. Oh good. <laughs> Let me catch him anytime soon. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? God damn it! Fucking horse! Run to jump! Oh, buffalo. I'm a man now. I, I found 
Listen! I'll call it! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Oh, <laughs> fuck that up. <laughs> Didn't really give me much to work with there. Holy shit. Alright, where's he gonna put me? I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! There we go. Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. Dumbass. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Idiot. I mean, his horse is right oh. there. Why is he riding this bitch? This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shimonia, oh, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Uh, 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 Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Why'd I get this kid again? Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. Must be waiting inside. It's hard, boy. We going in then? Make it quick or I might run off again. I'm gonna hit you in the head. Jamie! Jamie! Oh, come 
home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Timely train. I've okay. You're... Oh, you'll never change. Thanks. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Good talk, Journal. Nope. Real hungry here. Okay, let's go see what uh Javier's up to now. Southward. Come on. <laughs> Chill. Is that it? Yep, yep. Wonderful. It's just not gonna let me loot, is it? Wonderful. Damn wagon. Wonderful. 
Just charcoal. That's all you are. Great. Yeah, all this is just, uh, just trashed. Nice feature. Yep. Yeah, let's not go off a cliff again. Must be crossing. Where the hell? Where's the bat? There it is. Jeez. Can't see anything in this light. Hit that guy. Easy there. Yeah. There, boy. Weird ass roads. But can I not be here soon enough? There's wolves about Getting close to their territory. What you got there? Well, ooh, health experience. Not sure when I picked that up, but yoink.
Alright, out of the air, he close. Right? I suppose it is. Let's try to avoid uh, contact with the local law enforcement because, well, damn. Take me into Blackwater. I feel like it gave me the wrong way around. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, let's uh oh boy. Yeah, let's uh do what we're doing here and get out. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. Being sneaky and you got a damn campfire right behind you. No. no, I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Mm. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah, pictures of Dutch and I'll tell you. Oh, you got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. To save our mic. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. See if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Uh, it's yeah. forcing me to South do some weird stuff West just now. Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCord. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. 
Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? Daylight's breaking. Quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Adorable. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. They've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. Uh -huh. It looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. <laughs> what about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Uh, oh. Don't you do it, Javier? Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Do the okay. dirty. Get your knife ready. Keep your down. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention.
Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. behind you. You got this out of here. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try. Let's go. Right, get the gift while the gift is good. Welcome to Deadwood, you son of a bitch.
Let's get Sean. I tried. Your turn. Come on, let's get Sean and get out of here. Yep, pronto. On it. Still deciding. What have we got around here? Ooh. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to Did camp? Did I grow a beard on the way here? You ride separately. <clears throat> Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Oh boy. What we got around here? These are some biscuits. Nothing. It's an empty tin. Waste. Yep, oh, yep, let's get out of here.
And I think that just leaves us with uh, <clears throat> Micah for the time being. But I think we're uh, going to have to call it there for the night. Just wait for this little investigating bar to go down. But uh, anyone that uh, checking out our streams and enjoying it so far, appreciate the company and uh, the views and all the whatnot. Uh, just going to be continuing to play... Uh, play this probably at least once a week uh, and just as I have time otherwise continue to stream it go through the story and y'all are welcome to tag along as uh, long as you're uh, long as you're want, you know willing to and wanting to uh, I'll be continuing uh, just you know from this exact point uh, just be saving here in a moment and uh, like I had mentioned earlier in the stream if uh you know, you didn't sit through the whole thing, you're just catching the tail end of it, but if you want to go back and watch all of it, this is part two of, uh, you know, the entire playthrough so far. We're going to keep going probably through the end of the story. Um, probably get through a bit of the, you know, after content, if you know uh, anything about that. <clears throat> and uh, got some other streams I'll be doing this week, uh, continuing Yakuza 0, which probably be on Wednesday. Um, after that, uh depending on availability me availability of one of my buds I've got a uh, you know Dark Souls type uh, Drunk Souls stream so you can play along with us and you can have some drinking game rules that uh, we'll be laying out in the description for that uh, we did part one of that a couple of weeks ago or early or end of the week before last really uh, so that'll be probably at least every other week um, appreciate the uh, time and hope that uh, you're enjoying everything along with us.